Hi everyone, welcome back to Taronga TV. My name is Jess and I'm one of the educators here at Taronga Zoo. Now today I've got with me Ben, and Ben has a really interesting job at the zoo, as you can see from some of these items in front of me. So Ben, can you tell us what your role at the zoo is? Hi Jess. Yeah, I'm one of the scientists that work here at Taronga Zoo, and I'm a behavioural biologist, so that means I'm really interested in what behaviours animals do. And in the zoo, that means how we engage our animals and encourage them to perform natural behaviours. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what enrichment is here? Yeah, enrichment is about encouraging animals to express their natural behaviours and explore their environments, and also stimulating their minds. So when we think about enrichment, we really like to look at what, what behaviours animals would do in the wild and work out how we can give animals the opportunity to do those behaviours here in the zoo. Now, is that only something we can do with our animals here at the zoo, or is that something that our viewers at home could be doing? Yeah, enrichment is really important for all animals that are in human care. And that includes your dog and cat and whatever other pet you might have at home. And it's something that's really easy to do as well because you can use items that you've got around the house and you can make really interesting activities for your pet to play with. Great. So what could we be doing at home with our pets? So when we talk about enrichment, we think about it in a few different groups. And the first way we think about it is food enrichment. And that comes down to how animals would in the wild forage for their food and how they might use their paws or their tongues to get their food. And so you may have seen a bowl like this for dogs or cats. This is one I borrowed from my cats at home. And it's got these spikes in it that encourage the cats to use their paws to pick up their food. And it means they've got to play a little bit more while they're, while they're getting their food. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can make one at home using a muffin tin. You can flip a muffin tin over and you can put their food around the, the cups and that'll give the cat or a dog an opportunity to get their tongue or their paw down in there and get food. And that's more, more like foraging for food rather than just getting it in a bowl. Another thing you can do with, with your muffin tin is you can take a little bit of, of kibble or treats and you can place it in the, in the cups of the muffin tin. And then you can sit the balls on top. And this creates a bit of a puzzle for your dog or your cat, where they've got to go searching for where the, the food's located. They have to come in, they can sniff around, they can smell, and if you've got different foods in there, they can smell the different, the different foods, and they can flip the balls off and then they get a treat. Those are some really great ideas. Is all enrichment supposed to be about food, or the, are there some other things that we could do as well? No, all enrichment shouldn't be about food, because if we give our, our pets too much food, like us, they can end up a little bit fat. So it's important to think about the rest of the way in which they experience their world. And, and one important thing for animals is their sensory environment. They experience the world in a totally different way to what we do. Their sense of smell is so much more heightened than ours. And so using, using herbs and uh, different smells for animals is really important. And we do that here in the zoo, particularly with animals like our big cats. They really love it when we put particular smells and even some perfumes around the, their enclosure. And they go around and they explore and see what the new smells are. And with your cat at home, you can do that with catnip if you have it, and cat grass is another great option. Or you can even use some of the herbs that you have in your kitchen. You, the important thing there is to just use enough that the, that the um, cat can sniff them, but you don't want them to be eating it because sometimes they can upset their tummy. But you can put them into toys like this. You can, you can make a box and you can put some herbs inside and that gives them an opportunity to explore and discover a new environment and some new smells. Okay, great. These are some really good ideas here. But what about some more simple things or maybe things that don't involve food? You don't need to make toys to enrich your pets. Probably the, the simplest thing you can do is to go for a walk with your dog. It's really great for your dog and it's really great for you. And when you go for a walk, 
think about how they're experiencing the world. They love to experience the world through their nose. That's, that's how they meet and greet other dogs and it's how they learn about what's around them. So as you're going for a walk, take the time to let them snop, stop and sniff as they go. They'll be sniffing around, exploring new things and that's, that's how they know what their world, the world around them is. And that is some of the best enrichment that they can have. Thank you so much, Ben. Now, if you're a student and you're really interested in everything that Ben was telling us today, keep your eye out for an enrichment competition that Taronga Education is running and you could get involved and make something like this and win some really cool prizes. Thank you so much for joining us today at Taronga TV. See you later.